a sneak attack, Yoshino. Watch out! Is that game? Yeah. Hey everybody. I'm uh I'm sitting out at my LARP park. It's snowing a lot out here right now, and I think it's kind of caused people not want to come out today. It's not the first time it's happened. It happens at a lot of games. The weather just doesn't give people the incentive to want to go outside, either because it's too hot or it's too cold. It happens. It, there's nothing against it. You've got some people who might have a bad attitude about it, but uh, you also have some people who go, no, I'm not getting frostbite or I'm not going to risk second degree burns and sunburns and stuff. True fact, that actually did happen. I, I saw a girl who was out in the sun way too long actually got some degree burns and she had just, it was all over her arms. It, it caused a few layers of skin to come off and it, it was like, had to go to the hospital bad. Um, since we're sitting out here, nothing's really going on. I figured we'd uh, go ahead and put together a video. So, today's video is actually going to be about, a little bit kind of about archery. It starts with the construction of an arrowhead. Now, this isn't necessarily the only type of way to make an arrowhead. This is just the one I've had and I've had the most success with. And it's these right here. This is not something I made. I'm going to make that very clear right now. I did not make these at all. These are called, a lot of people call these Deckland arrowheads. They were created by a guy named David Nagy. He's also known as Sir Declan Silverbush. It, it's uh, his amped guard persona. He designed these. It's packaging foam here. And then I want to say something relevant to like a camp pad foam here. And then a gamma ball. And actually, we're just going to... I'll show you why these are so cool. This is part of it right here. Um, if I can get it off here. There we go. There's the... Uh, yeah, gamma ball right there. Uh, it's half a gamma ball, the foam, and then the packaging foam here. Basically what he did is he took packaging foam of this diameter and then parried it down the edges, okay? Then in between here and here, and did I do that right? Here and here. In between there is a machine screw and a washer, and there's a hole that goes in the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. There you go. You can see the hole there in the bottom. There's a machine screw in there. And it's hot glued down with the washer to give it surface area. Okay. And then this part is put on. This piece right here is put on. Did I just see? Yep, there's a blue car pulling up behind me. That's uh, that's Bob. That's one of the uh, LARPers. He's actually pulling up right next to me right now. <laughs> and... So these two parts are attached and that machine screw is put on there. Then this part's glued on and then the whole thing is torque wrapped with packaging foam. That way, when you go to put it on the arrow tip, it just screws right on there and it locks itself in. It's a neat design. We're going to explore this in a later video. Maybe not to this specific design, but something similar to it. 